Now, there are primarily two basic trails down here. One that is, is much easier, whereby it, you have an open view with lush greenery. And the other one is probably a more challenging trail, for, especially for beginner hikers. This trail itself, huh, there are slopes basically, and uh, it tends to be very muddy. So, you know, you have to be very careful now because once you are inside, there will be fallen logs itself, there will be trees with um, thorns, you know, and of course, the gradient is pretty slippery and you will definitely encounter lots, lots of, you know, muddy terrain as well. So if you are doing the trail, come with a seasoned hiker or with a group uh, who have been here before and are well versed about the conditions and the terrain, all right? Because there will be a lot of spots itself that is pretty slippery. And there are actually quite a number of these trees with vines, with thorns as well, all right? So these are things that you need to take note of. You know, if you were to come here after a heavy downpour or it has been raining the, the few days preceding your hike itself, do expect that the trail will be very muddy and very slippery. So, you know, I would advise you to avoid this place if you intend to come after a heavy downpour because it may not be safe and uh, we have encountered cases of people sleeping and getting themselves seriously injured. However, if you are doing this trail, make sure you come with proper hiking boots, all right? Wear long pants, have enough, enough water if possible. All right, so that you are able to sustain yourself because there's no water point inside. This COVID situation actually helps Singaporeans and those people who are, have been to Singapore to explore our nature reserve. And I strongly encourage people to go and seek out new places.